Yeah, I mean, that's when, like, being the best, I guess, product on the market, right? That's when we want to kind of separate separate ourselves from the competition to make sure that, you know, like, we're getting looked at the most, definitely. right? Because now we have a, definitely a smaller buying pool. Yeah, to talk on that, it's, right, if there's only, only limited inventory on the market, only set number of homes on the marketplace, we want to be the one to be looked at first and is picked out of all the properties that are out there uh, available in the marketplace, right? that allow us to sell for the most and the first one to go out, which if you look at the long, long the, the whole game, right? We want to make sure that our investors are protected as well. Anything you guys want to add to that? Yeah, I think we, we predominantly have an advantage too because of everything we do is a value add. So we're putting out a product that is fully renovated in the end. And I think versus the competition that's out there on the inventory, there's not much, you know, whether it's all specific area or the surrounding areas, there's not that much new construction, well, newer renovation that's out there to compete with us during the time of that listing, during that three month phase or that six month phase. So I think that just gives us just a competitive advantage to begin with on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to go back to like private investors and stuff, right? Like that's one good thing. Like you said, the, the value add component, right? Like I know you, I guess, work with private investors a bit more. Like, is that like, what is, is it the, the track record that we have or is it the, um, the equity on these properties? Do you think it's like a little bit of both? I think both. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, uh, obviously it always comes down to track record, whether it's new new investors or, you know, follow up that we've been working with for years. I think, you know, showing that ability to execute from start to finish always brings them back. And then that leads to word of mouth. And obviously the more you do, more people say it. So I think it's a combo. And then obviously the equity split and all that little, you know, upside mm -hmm. definitely interest some investors that they're part of, the, you know, the deal or part of the, uh, I guess it's a little bit of their product as well. Gotcha. And, so that interests certain investors, not institutional ones, but private. And I think we buy things very conservatively, right? We do less deals, but we run our numbers very conservatively, right? Like we're not going to overextend ourselves to chase after a deal. The deal needs to really, really make sense, especially in this this time, this this these craziness and uncertainty times. Sure. What do we normally look at? I mean, you guys want to talk about some of that? On what? Like how are we maybe tightening our buy box? For example um yeah so we're, we're looking at only things with multiple exit strategies now so where we would have flipped something that couldn't be kept or couldn't be airbnb now we're getting a lot tighter with that i guess on our buy, buy box um and we're getting we just picked up our fourth and fifth airbnb uh this this will be last week yeah, oh, last, yeah. Close, yeah last yeah. week last so, thursday yep so we're gonna have five now out of, out of the 10 this year our goal so i think those are similar. So we have it, the option to flip. Um, if we can't Airbnb it or if rules change, we still have that equity on the value add side where we're going to uh, be able to flip it or keep it as a long-term rental if the Airbnb doesn't work out. So it's the multiple exit strategy is probably our biggest shift from last year mm. um, where we would just look at something as a new construction or a build or a flip with no Airbnb like upside. So now it's nice to have the multiple options. And other things, we started giving up equity on the long-term. So that's something, I guess, for the first few years, we kind of bootstrapped the business, pretty much did it all in-house. And now we're, now we're, I guess, based on track record, comfortability and, you know, our growth, we feel more comfortable taking on investors with long-term, mm -hmm. I guess, partnerships, Yeah, which is a win-win for, for us and them. Mm -hmm. 